another day, another very dark video. I don't have that many lights in my room, they're all kind of centered around my desk. I'll try and take some videos in the day soon, but for now, I hope uh, the darkness is a nice focus for <laughs> looking at me. So, I want to talk about how did I know that I was transgendered? For me, this is a very difficult, it's a difficult thing to explain. It's not clear cut for me at all. My history or my story is basically that I, as a child, was always very interested in transgender stories and like comic books and things that had men that would turn into women. There was a Japanese comic that I saw when I was about 10 or 11 years old, um, and it is called Ranma One Half. It is a famous comic, and it's the main character is transgendered, not by choice. Uh, he's this Japanese martial artist that gets cursed, and so whenever he gets wet with cold water, he turns into a girl. Turns back when he gets wet with hot water, but like other characters turn into other things like pandas and um, little piglets and cats and all sorts of stuff. So it's a really funny show, but yeah, transgendered main character, and I discovered this comic when I was 10 or 11, and I was instantly obsessed with it. Like I was glued to it. I could not believe that there existed this story about a transgendered person, um, even though it was fictional. So, I it got a lot worse for me when I started puberty. I I just did what felt natural for me, and that was to think about myself with a woman's body. Um, but that that didn't make it clear to me, you know. I didn't realize. Um, well, I did know that I could become a transsexual, that I could take hormones and maybe get surgeries and blah blah blah, but like I, I I didn't really feel like that was right for me. I just felt like I was something different or that I wouldn't be successful if I were to be a transsexual and that I would always just be this very masculine weirdo. Um, and I don't feel that way anymore, obviously, and I wish that I could go back and tell myself this because I, I wish that I would have started my transition earlier. But, like I, like I was saying, it's not very clear-cut for me that, that when I realized it. So, you know, it took me a long time. I, I got involved with uh, my significant other, who I've talked about a little bit already. We were together for five years, and I came out after two years. Um, it became clear pretty quickly that I had to choose between my significant other and my transition, so I figured, well, this is not a very big part of me, you know. I care about this person so much more than I care about being some female. And I went for about three years with this attitude of, it's not that important, and I genuinely tried to push it out of myself, or to ignore it and just not pay any attention. But what happened was my dysphoria came out in different ways. Uh, I would get very uncomfortable if transgender related issues ever came up in conversation or on television or in, in books that I was reading or that my, my significant other was reading. So I was just having a lot of trouble. Um, until just one day we started talking and it was that conversation that, you know, what's going on with you, Samantha, or Sam, and what do you need to do? You know, do, maybe you need to step forward with this transition or whatever you want and figure out what you need. So we split up and I started seeing a therapist uh, who specializes in transgender issues. And I started going to a support group in Seattle called Ingersoll. I highly recommend Ingersoll for anyone that, has, that lives near Seattle. Please check it out because it's one of the best trans communities that I've ever been in person around. You know, the internet's great too. But in person, Ingersoll was really the best thing I've found. Um, so I started meeting all these other trans people and I just very naturally and slowly started stepping, taking steps toward living as a female. 
even without realizing it, you know, my first, my first step was to come out to my friends and family, and, um, then to get out of the house dressed as a female, you know, go shopping for women's clothes while still looking as, looking like a man, which was extremely interesting and scary, but not the end of the world. Um, and then I was going out of the house in women's clothes to my support group and to my therapist, and then I was going out by myself, um, which was incredibly scary, but after the first couple of times it wasn't so bad. And I just found myself feeling very comfortable um, and wanting to do it more. So there was a long, like, there's, I spent about a year and a half of my transition before I started living full time. And in that time, I would basically be Samantha when I was starving for it. You know, I needed it. I could feel it that I wasn't getting this, this release, this expression of of my gender identity. So I just naturally was making steps toward living as a female and before I knew it I said I'm going to go full time today. Whereas my opinion before had just been, you know, I'm going to do what makes me happy. So I would I would get dressed up and and you know, take care of myself clean myself up, if you will, the, when I needed to, and, you know, I would get, that would make me happy, and I, I just, I just felt like it, I needed it more, and then I needed it even more than that, and then I needed it every day, and then I needed, you know, to, to change my body, I needed to start hormones so that I could feel more comfortable in my own skin, and more comfortable when I look in the mirror in the clothes that I like to wear. Um... So, before I realized it, I guess you would, con I guess I became what you might consider a transsexual. Um, I, I don't really identify as transsexual, I, I guess I call myself transgendered, um, because I do agree that, um, with, with other people that it's not all about sex, you know. My first clues that I was transgendered did come out in me sexually, but I'm not doing this for sex, um, the act or for, you know, my parts. I'm, I'm doing this because it makes me happy to look this way, speak this way, relate to people as a woman, and, you know, I would just really enjoy it. So my my knowing of myself being transgender has just been a very gradual journey uh, a gradient if you will just from male to female and I just kind of moved across this gradient slowly and and didn't even realize kind of how fast I was going or how slow I was going except when it felt like it was taking too long and here I am so I really love what's happened to me, and I love the life that I've built, and I think that if you're questioning yourself, then, you know, think about what's going to make you happy, and try and meet people, and, um, you know, if you have questions, ask me, and, and I'll try and reply. That's all for now. See you next time.